Hey everybody, Arnaldo Waffman here of Gear It First. Now, if you watch my videos, you know that I love lasers. Lasers are just an absolutely incredible tool, not only to enhance your light show, they can be used for beam shows, they can be used for graphics, they can be used for mapping. There's so many things they can be used for. One of the lasers that I like to use is the Kavan series. This is the Club Max FB4, and they have worked together to bring an incredible unit that works right out of the box. So let's take a look into the Club Max series from Kavant with the FB4 from Pangolin here on Gear It First. Now, the Kavant laser, the whole company, is based out of Europe. The design, the manufacturing, the assembly, it's all in Europe. To my knowledge, I can't think of a single other laser manufacturer that has that. This is essentially the Maserati or Mercedes or insert your favorite European car brand here of lasers. So one of the very first things you're gonna notice when you get your Cavant unit is that it isn't just in a cardboard box. You get your laser, you open it up, cardboard box, you toss the box away. Cavant sends you a really nice case. This is not just some little cheap plastic case. This is a very rugged case, very familiar to other styles of heavy plastic rugged cases. But the difference between this one is that it was specifically made for the laser. Now this case holds my Kavant unit. It holds my e-stop, holds cabling. It holds my data, everything ready to go. This is what I mean when I say it's plug and play. Let's look at the unit itself. First of all, beautiful metal housing. It's IP54 rated, which means that it's pretty much gonna withstand most type of conditions, as long as you're not gonna try to do a laser show out in a hurricane. But one of the things that I thought was really neat is instead of having to use a Allen wrench or having to, you know, sit there and mess with bolts, they use these little rounded ones here. So that means that I can put one Kavant laser right next to the other and I don't have to have a huge gap in between. And if I need to quickly adjust it, I can just slip my fingers in between, get in there and move it up and down as I need it to. When I first started doing laser shows and I needed to cut the beam up a little bit, or I wanted to protect, to keep people from messing with the laser in general, we used a very advanced technology called gaff tape. Sit there, put gaff tape and you're done. That really, really stinks when you have a nice glass covered aperture to prevent, prevent the dust and water or anything else getting in. So what Kavant did is have a little cover right here for the laser aperture and it works. It's great, easy to use. And even without tightening it, you gotta smack the heck out of this thing to even get it to move. So again, just showing how much detail Kavant really puts into their lasers. So the heartbeat of the Kavant Club Max series, it's the FB4. Now the FB4 unit is a major upgrade to the FB3 from Pangolin. To control a laser, you need some sort of dongle. Pangolin used the FB3, which would allow you to connect your laser to either Beyond or Quickshow. With the FB4, which already includes Quickshow built in, you do not need ILDA. That means you don't have to worry about those expensive cables. So what happens is I have my laptop, it's connected out, it goes straight in here, that's it. Absolutely no ILDA connection whatsoever. But the FB4 is more than just an upgrade in connectivity. It's also an upgrade in how you can control the laser. You can control it live using the Pangolin software. You can go into the mode and actually save all your shows, including your DMX mapping to an SD card and trigger everything directly from your DMX console. This is really good if your LD doesn't want to mess with laser software. You can pre-program the entire show, including your beam attenuation maps, your zones, etc. Save them on an SD card and then trigger it from any type of console, whether it's a basic DMX software or a more advanced system such as HOG or MA. But that goes one beyond that. If you're using this for digital signage, for example, you don't even need a computer or DMX console at all. You can pretty much trigger everything directly built in using the FB4 player and the SD card reader. This is a major upgrade to not just how we control lasers, but how we're able to, to play back the lasers. Essentially, the Club Max series with the FB4 is a laser projector with a media server built in. 
first of all, on this side of the FB4, you do have, for DMX control, it is a five pin DMX standard, so you've got in and out. Now, the way that it works is you don't just plug in and choose some pre-made patterns. You load your stuff into the micro SD card, your entire shell, and then you can control it from DMX with any lighting board. If you're going to use ArtNet, because this is ArtNet compatible, you have your in and out, as well if you're going to use this for your beyond control. So this is a dual function. I can sit here and connect all the lasers together and go into my next ArtNet fixer because it is ArtNet in and out and control that with any DMX console. Or I can choose to connect just my lasers together with the Cat5e or Cat6 cable and control it with either Beyond or Quick Show. So you get a little bit of flexibility. To be able to control it via ArtNet, again, you have to preload your show into the micro SD card. But while that may sound limiting, it really isn't. You can load so much into it. This is a custom FP4 that's been made for this laser and it's been designed to pretty much maximize everything that it can do. The laser, for the most part, very rudimentary, you've got a couple of important things. You've got your actual beam and then you've got your motors. Now we call these Galvos. Now before I tell you about the Galvos in here, I gotta tell you about Pangolin's president, founder, William Benner. Bill is, he's the Steve Wozniak of lasers. This guy has more patents on this than ever. As a matter of fact, he has an entire book about laser scanners and their technology. This dude is it when it comes to lasers. So when you're buying a Kavant, you're basically buying something that was designed partly by the guy that revolutionized the entire industry. Now that we're past that part, this guy features the Compact 506 Galvos. These are the holy grail of Galvos within this price range because you get a couple of things. One, you get really tight, clean graphics. You see with lasers, the further that you spread the beam apart, the faster those Galvos have to continue moving to be able to go from point A to point B. And obviously the wider you move it, the longer that travel distance is. So you get a little bit of blanking in the image. But because of how good the compact 506 Galvos are, you don't get as much blanking and you don't get as much of that distortion that you would get with other lasers. The other thing is that because of how good these Galvos are, they can go a further distance from point A to point B within the Galvo itself. What that means is that with this laser, I can have a beam as wide that it would take me two other lasers to be able to do. Make no mistake, the Kavant may be a little bit more expensive than your DJ laser, but when, it can, when you consider that it takes two regular DJ lasers to make the image this one can do, it pretty much pays for itself right off the bat. Again, not to mention you also have the FB4 and all that goodies in there. We have a rule in the entertainment and event industry, right? The more expensive something is, the more apt it's going to break. And it's not because of craftsmanship, it's just because there's, you know, it's kind of like buying a fancy car, right? you're gonna have a lot more issues because of all the electronics and everything in there. Lasers are no exception. They can have a pretty high failure rate if it's not a good unit because you have ESD coming in, electrostatic discharge. Back in the days of building computers before computers actually had better circuitry built in, if you remember, you always had to have your hand going to a grounding strap. I mean, you technically still do, but do we really anymore? And you also have power surges. And it's not like, you know, we have every individual piece of gear always hooked up to a really good power surge. So yeah, lasers can see a pretty good failure rates because of it. Now it doesn't happen often with a good quality unit, but it can happen. So failure rates, this guy doesn't really have that issue. And that's because Kavan has proven the longest industry lifetime. Why is that? Lasorb, and you're like, ooh, what's that? Laserb is this magic wizardry science that the amazing guys at Pangolin have put together. Basically, it absorbs those power shocks, so some surges, it absorbs the ESD. It basically takes the hit, so your laser doesn't take the hit. If you're a car audio guy like I am, it's the MOSFET of the laser world, sort of say. And this is built into all the Kavant units, so essentially you're getting a great unit, great scanners, a great beam coming out of it that is protected by Lasorb, which is a leading technology developed by Pangolin. There's a lot of technology and a lot of wizardry behind the Kavant. And Pangolin, I mean, come on, you guys all know who Pangolin is, and if you don't, look them up. They're pretty big. They guarantee this thing. 
But I don't mean they're just guaranteed that it's gonna work. Laser work pretty much guarantees that your laser is not gonna get uh, destroyed by a power surge or by an ESD. The compact 506 Galvos, it's gonna give you a guarantee your graphics are gonna look sharp than other lasers. And Pangolin's commitment to quality and service, and I'm not saying this because I, I don't work for Pangolin at all, but I've gone to Pangolin multiple times because I've had questions or problems that these people answer phones and emails at all sorts of crazy times. They have a great uh, set of people and they have a great team of people that are online that don't even work for Pangolin that are helping each other out. And you guys know my videos always talk about that. Find a brand, find a technology, a company that has a cult following behind it. And Pangolin is no exception to that. And the fact that they distribute Kavant lasers, beautiful lasers made in Europe with the FB4 unit, which is great because you're never gonna have to worry about an ILDA cable. And really right now, just take time, open up another window, look up the price of an ILDA cable. Then look up the price of the equivalent Cat5e or Ethercon cable. You're like, well, damn son. It really is. I mean, these will pay for itself after you're done replacing the fifth or sixth ILDA cable. I'm really bitter about that. I love this thing. This is great. But the most important part is that you are getting way more than what you're going to be paying for. And that's a guarantee that Pangolin gives out every time. So again, Arnaldo Offerman, Gear It First. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great night and God bless. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Gear It First, honest reviews, incredible gig logs, lots of tips and tricks, and more tutorials than any other YouTube channel. I guarantee it or your money back.